Okay, this is a tricky problem. The question, or the one, maybe one of the first questions we should be asking, should we plug in or not? Because we have variables here, and it would be great if we could figure out, well, x must equal what? And then we just need to find the arithmetic mean of x, x squared, x cubed, and x to the fourth. And of course, when we're asking for mean, what does that mean? Well, the sum of these divided by a number of those. And there's four of those. There's x, x squared, x cubed, and x to the fourth. And you can just divide that then by the total number, which here would be four. OK, well, that doesn't look too bad. Just figure out what x is and then do the math. But is x equal to 2? You try it, doesn't work. Is x equal to 3? You try that. That doesn't get you close to 60. You try 4 for x over here, and you go over 60. So you plug in, but no number really seems to work. And at that point, do not try to come up with some weird number, 3.47, and enter the calculator. You'll be here forever. Instead, there has to be another way of understanding what's going on here. Well, you look there, and you wonder, can you simplify it? Can you factor out any x's? And the answer is hmm, no. You can't factor out any x's. But we have x's other, other places here. And aha, right over there. We can definitely factor out, factor out an x from the top. That is, each one of these share one x. So bringing this down here, we bring out an x. Take out x from the first term, which gives us a 1, plus x, plus x squared, plus x cubed. Well, that looks a whole lot more familiar. Why? Well, right up there. And so just like that, we know that this equals 60. So x times 60 is 60x, divided by 4 is 15x, and voila, answer choice B.